always want to find what's the exciting part of things. And uh, I remember just, you know, gassing it up just to see what would happen. And I remember the feeling, it just took off. And I've never felt this feeling in my whole life ever again. It just, the sheer speed and power. I mean, it felt like I was going to pull my arms off my shoulders, you know, and just take off with the bike and leave it behind. It was just so scary but exciting, you know, and a real adrenaline pumper. And uh, that really sold me to that day, and I'll never, ever forget it. Wayne Gunn, age 26, born in Wollongong, Australia, top rider, Honda racing team, 500cc motorbikes. Jorama Spain, May 1986, the first Grand Prix of the season. Gardner rides the number four bike. scores his first ever Grand Prix victory in an eight-year career. Suffering from tendonitis, his team leader and 1985 world champion, Freddie Spencer, has to retire one month later. Still in his learning year with the team, Gardner is thrown into the deep end. He has to deliver. But is he ready? Wayne has so much pressure on him being Freddie not here and Freddie no, uh, normally being the, the fast guy and Wayne could just sit back, but now Wayne's got to do it. And that's a lot of weight on his shoulders. You know, he's got a heart like a lion, he never gives up, which is uh, something you've got to have. He never, you know, he, he really sort of applies himself to the job like he did today. Wayne's the toughest guy right now. Wayne's pushing real hard. And you know, I rate him the highest of all of them. I wish a lot of the times he was a nine-to-five worker and that we just were like a normal couple. We are, like, we are a normal couple, but his job isn't. Holland, June 1986, sixth Grand Prix of the season. 23 points behind the leader Lawson, Wayne needs a win desperately. The Honda NSR 500 is worth a quarter of a million pounds and has a top speed of 190 miles an hour. It represents the very latest in motorbike technology. To maintain the highest performance, the bike is continually checked and adjusted. Last-minute data and newly developed parts are flown in from Japan and delivered by the fastest courier. A high level of professionalism is called for to maximize speed and safety. There's a little bit more chatter today on the front. Yeah, yeah that's originally... Uh, I remember I said I had a little bit here yesterday, you know, the two back 
right handers over there. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a little bit more, I couldn't seem to get it in because it did it. Mm. So I, I think possibly go back 2.1. Rear suspension on that bike, we put in that harder spring. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I'd like to try it with um, maybe an E tyre. Yeah, right, okay. And those 40 yokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, 40s. Serious, your son. Yes. This machine, we're going to change triple clamp to 40 millimeter, same as other machine, and raise rear side one millimeter. Oh. So if you and Stuart can uh, take out front fork and change triple clamp, okay? Okay. The right package of tires, springs, and carburation is crucial to a good grid position and a win. A split second improvement on the lap time requires expertise and days of precision work. He becomes very serious as the week goes on. What he thought was funny at the beginning of the week is not so funny anymore as the race gets closer. I always want to comfort him, but it's just a thing you can't do. You just can't go near him or show him this, the love that, or the affection I want to give him. Because I sort of can feel for him like he's a, a small infant, because that's, that's what he goes like, that's what he feels. You can see he's sort of feeling lonely and a bit nervous, uptight. But you know, the best thing to do is stay away. Where I want to get close to him, but you just can't. And talk about having a family eventually. Just now, it's be would be very difficult, very hard. That's just one more added worry. I don't think marriage would be a great problem, but a lot of people seem to think it would be because he'd lose a lot of fans, and you know, people would take an ad a different attitude to a married man to a single man. But that's not what I think. <laughs> um, but definitely, it's difficult with a family. The eve of the race. Wayne and Donna try to relax with Wayne's parents. An ex-truck driver, Norm manages Wayne Gardner Enterprises, trading in motorbike accessories, assisted by his wife, Shirley. But in Assen, their thoughts are never far from the track. It was here in 1984 that Wayne, in his first Grand Prix, almost decided to end his career after a devastating encounter with reigning champion Franco Uncini. Um, I suppose it, it was frightening because uh, you can see it happening. I mean, it, it happens all in a few seconds, but watching it and when at the time I was going to hit him, it seemed like an eternity. You know, I said, I just kept saying to myself, I come in the corner, don't move, don't move, don't move. I can actually just see it and break and break and I was bracing myself and bang, you know, I went over the front of the bike and he spun around and... Uh, it was a horrific crash, and it was one I really I tried to forget about. Though Uncini fully recovered, the memory of the accident still lingers. 